uh, hi everyone let's do a general javascript quiz also in the last video we did some small quiz about angular so here it should be a numeric sum and then it will be a false obviously and this will be because you are doing a summation of floating point numbers so it will it will not be fixed to 0 0.3 okay moving to next here we are doing console.log so it's a iffy block so set timeout will execute later so we should get 1 4 3 and 2 yeah that is correct which of the following function of array object returns a string representing the array and its element so it's okay let's let's do this uh, here a should be undefined b has 3 so a is defined uh, b is defined that is true okay that is correct what will be the output here we can see the foo1 is returning an object foo2 is not returning anything because the return statements need to be put on the same line so for this foo2 is returning undefined so it should be this that is correct okay I think this is a duplicate so I will just skip this okay this one 1 2 2 uh, 1 2 2 1 2 3 2 okay there is some mistake I mean it should be like uh, 1 plus 2 so plus will convert it into numeric so it will become 1 2 2 3 2 and 0 2 okay that is correct so it's a set timeout and we are using war keyword so it's a closer inside it so it will print five five times okay here we have person object we got the member from person function and then we are calling get full name so get full name is declared after we create an object so that will not be available there so we should get a type error for this So if you want this get full name method to be available to all the objects you have to add it to the prototype okay coming to the next question here we are trying to print a function so first is the object and second is the function so function should we are not calling it so it should return undefined and first one is this object okay what is the three phase of event propagation so it's like capturing target and bubbling so this is a standard this is how it works from top to bottom then bottom to top event capturing phase all the objects has a prototype that's not true you can have object dot create null that will not have a prototype okay now coming to here here we are trying to do the concat for 1 and 2 it's a second is a string so it should be 1 and 2 simple one okay what is the output so output should be 0 for the first console.log second will become 2 then will become 2 so it should be 0 2 2 we can say return the value 0 for the first now it has incremented so in the second line it, it has already become 1 and you are also doing a, a plus plus so it will become 2 okay person info so this is I came to know that this is how also you can call the function so get person info instead of using brackets you can use a back text so all these things will be spreaded so person will be 1 so 1 2 3 here we are trying to print right so it will be it will be whatever we are passing dynamically that will be assigned to 3 1 and 2 will be the strings yeah so if you use a tag template literals the value of the first argument is always an array of strings and the remaining argument will get the value from the past expression little tricky okay so here we are calling the function passing the object if you are passing the object then obviously object will not be equal to object it will be false this will also be false 
finally we will get uh, this as an output here what we are doing is we are passing get a is passing the number and argument so type of argument will always be an object it, it looks like an array the argument object but it is an array you can iterate on it console.log uh, here we are doing is 21 console.log is so while we call it is is 21 so is 21 is added in the global context and here we are doing is so it should be undefined because we can't access anything which is coming from the global object and whenever you declare a variable with without using var and let it get added in the global context okay reference error yeah so why it is coming reference error because with the use strict you can, you can make sure that you don't accidentally declare a global variable we never declare that variable is since we are using use strict it will throw a reference error if we didn't use use strict it would have worked okay so my mistake it would give a reference error so eval will evaluate this particular string so it should be 105 okay so look session storage local storage cookie storage uh, when the user closes the entire browser when the user shuts off their computer when user closes the tab this data will go away okay now that should be 10 okay so here we have set object dot has on property object dot has on property always accepts the, the variable as a string so we are doing same thing in line one and two so object dot has on property one that is true true and this is true true false true okay here what we are doing is console dot log obj yeah so i think what it will do is a1 b2 and a3 it will override it will it will override the duplicates from the first occurrence so a will be 3 b will be 2 if you have two keys with the same two two properties with the same key then the the, the rightmost will override the leftmost JavaScript global execution context creates two things for you the global context and this keyword that is true okay about this so we are doing a for loop i equal equal to 3 we are doing continue so we are starting from loop from 1 so it should print 1 to 4 okay so here we are doing string dot prototype and we have added a one method on the string prototype and we are using arrow function so if you try to do this then what you would get we would get, because we are using arrow function so we should not be able to access the context so it should return undefined uh, when you call this i mean it will just print this value because we are not accessing anything from the string So A, B, C, okay, A of B, so B and C, I mean B, every object will be represented as an index will always be a string. So B, either you put A, B or A, C, it represents the same index. So it should print uh, 456, okay. So there are many questions I will keep uh, talking about these quiz, quiz questions in the coming videos also. So this is how I have already covered a lot of quiz questions which is talking about these basic basic uh, logical questions in JavaScript. Okay. Thanks everyone.